All right, hey there, welcome, this is Santi. Today I want to share with you a tip that is gonna save you several seconds out of your life, from your life? What is the correct grammar? Either way, you're gonna save seconds, tons of them. And <laughs> I want to, I think it's better if I just show you what I mean, okay? So you're in your computer, you go to your browser and you find a blog post that you want to take notes on and you want to save this link in Obsidian. You just want to put it as a markdown link. So what you usually do is you have to go to the top bar, you have to copy this, then you go to Obsidian and now you paste it like so. Now, if you know your markdown, you will know that you can just format things by putting a parenthesis like so and then a square brackets. And now you can do something like copy this link. Well, the title of the link and there you go. Now it's nicely formatted. And if you go to preview mode, you can click on this and it's going to take you here, right? That is the way to format things in markdown. But as you just saw, that took me a lot of effort, a lot of clicks, a lot of copy pasting around. So I want to share with you a really much quicker way to do that. So let me show you. Well, first, so that you know, I'm not cheating. Let me delete this. And now here we are in the same blog post. Now I'm going to press one shortcut right here, but I'm going to explain it to you in a second. I'm going to do the shortcut and now I can just paste it. There you go. That's how quick it is. So if you don't believe me, this is what is happening, right? The moment I press the shortcut, this little extension up here is going to have a green check mark. And now I can just paste that in here. There you go. So let me just delete that. So this is going to work across any type of website that you're in. Same thing. I do the same shortcut and now I can just paste things in there. And in general, it's just a great, a great um, browser extension. So this is going to work in, you know, I'm using Brave right now. That is a browser that I'm using. It works in Chrome because Brave and Chrome use the same type of extensions. And it also works in Firefox. That's actually where I discovered it. So I'm sure it works there. Now for Safari, I'm not sure. There might be, even if there's not this exact same extension, there might be an alternative. And in Internet Explorer, just kidding. <laughs> so let me show you how this works. If we go to, <laughs> sorry, Internet Explorer people, I, I still love you. So if you go to the Chrome web store, you're going to be able to search for the browser extension that we're going to be needing. So copy as markdown, that is the name of it. So it's going to be here and it's going to be right here. So if we just open it and we can add it to brave. We can add extension. This is of course gonna vary depending on the browser you're using, but it should be pretty similar. And now it's gonna be here. Now, just for the sake of demonstration, I'm just gonna pin it. So in Brave, the way you pin things, as you can see, I have several, several browser extensions. You can just pin it and now it's gonna come here on the top, right? So it's this one right here. Now let's go back to another page. So say you're listening to this amazing, amazing song and you want to save it in the same way. The easiest way to do it is just clicking in here and now click on current tab link. That is going to do the exact same thing that we did before. If we go back to somewhere like Obsidian again, we can just paste that and it works. Now I invite you to explore the different things that you can do. You can copy several links and you can also just copy the URL or just the title and that is going to that is just gonna take either just the title of the thing that you need or just the link. But of course, for our purposes, it makes more sense to use this one right here. Now, in order to speed things up, I highly recommend you set up a shortcut. Now in Brave, and this should be similar in your browser, it's gonna vary slightly how it looks, but in Brave, the way you set up a shortcut is you go to settings down here, and then you can go and search for shortcuts. That is gonna highlight keyboard shortcuts. So I'm gonna click on that. And now I can scroll down to the one that I need, which is called copy as markdown. And the one we need is the current tab, which is gonna put it in brackets, square brackets for the title and parentheses for the URL. So we're gonna click on this little pencil situation. And now I'm gonna just click what I need, right? And there we go. So now it should be working. And if I go back to this page, you can see that when I do my shortcut, in my case, Alt Y, it's gonna be copied there. And if I go back to Obsidian, I can just paste it and it works. Now, a bit of a bonus feature, you can have several tabs open and now you can batch copy them super quickly, which could be really useful. So let me show you that. So now I have several tabs open and you can click on the extension and you can go all tabs, right? And now we can paste this in Obsidian and there you go. And if we go on preview mode, we can just see that it, everything is nicely formatted and yeah, it just saves you tons of time. So that's about it. Now, if you are interested in learning more about Obsidian, you can, of course, check out my Obsidian online course, which is one of these tabs that we were saving. 
I really don't know how that got in there, but yeah, either way. So <laughs> if you want to learn more about Obsidian, I highly recommend you check out my course. I break things down for you from the fundamentals of Obsidian. So yeah, check it out. This is the best way you can support my work. And with that said, I hope this was useful to you. It's something I use all the time, literally, and you can just set the different shortcuts for whatever needs you have. And yeah, let me know if you have any other requests for videos like this, in particular things that you're struggling with in Obsidian. I love to make that. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.